Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here playing Hitman 3. We're on the level Dartmoor, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to help Emma kill Alexa. This will unlock an in-game challenge called Poison Ivy and an achievement or trophy called Family Feud. Additionally, as we play, I'll be showing you things like the location of crowbars, wrenches, the boat key, the hearse key, and I'll be showing you how to unlock both of the shortcuts. As for my loadout, I did spawn as the gardener in the garden. This is one of the first things you unlock after beating the level, but just set yourself up with that if you don't have that unlocked. And additionally, I picked the lock pick and coins as my items to bring with me. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is run to the kind of food delivery staff side entrance to pick up a crowbar. This is important because this allows me to get the fuse cell. So the fuse cell is underneath the balcony just around the corner on the way back to the garden. We can then take that fuse cell and put it into the fuse box that the photographer needs in order to start the photo session. You can use this to set yourself up for the photographer's assassination, but we'll be skipping that for the purposes of this video. The reason I'm doing this as the first thing in this playthrough is because I need the family to start moving around to get the opportunity where Emma tries to kill Alexa to start. Now I'm going to start running back towards that side entrance where I got my crowbar from. Upon entering into this side door, I'm going to take a left hand turn and end up in the staff area. There is a changing room connected to this staff area and inside is where I can find the wrench. I believe this may be the only wrench on the map. I'm not sure, but this is where I went whenever I needed one. So I am going to pick up that wrench and we are going to now head out from the way that we came. And I'm actually going to go and grab the case file now as basically a whole bunch of stuff's happening that I can't really speed up. As we exit, take a sharp left hand turn and start climbing on this drain pipe railing, hang to the ledge and then jump up onto the balcony. Once we're on the balcon balcony, we are trespassing, but that's fine. Crouch and enter into the door on the first right. This is Zachary's room and go inside and then you'll want to incapacitate the security guard here. We will need his outfit, which is the primary reason we're here. So after you incapacitate him, make sure that you take his outfit. And once you're here with the crowbar that we picked up earlier, we can also open up the shortcut, which I already have unlocked. Now I will be taking this body and I will be hiding it in the closet, not far from the door to enter Zachary's room. The reason I'm going to do this is because Alexa does come here on her route. She will notice the body and it'll just add another five minutes of waiting to the end of this strategy. Now we have the security disguise and we are allowed on the third floor where we'll be able to grab the case file. So head outside of the door. I did also take the gun with me as to not alert anyone who sees it and I'll be heading up to the third floor. There is someone here on the third floor that can easily spot me. So I'm going to make sure to stay as far away as possible from them by rubbing on the right hand side wall and then entering into Alexa's office. Here, what we'll do is we'll press the button on her armchair. This will open up the safe. The code for the safe is 1975. And the solution is to go to all four of the items in the room and find these numbers near them. Enter 1975 and pick it up. This is an illegal action, so make sure there are no guards that are immediately looking at you close by. Now I have a couple of minutes just to do nothing since I'm waiting for some enemies to move around. I'm going to hop up on this ledge from the staircase that leads to the top floor, and I'm going to shimmy across the ledge and then jump through the window. Here I can use the crowbar to unlock another shortcut for myself in a later playthrough. This is also considered the roof and we will need to get a sniper kill from the roof in one of our subsequent playthroughs if we're looking to get all of the challenges for this mission. You can actually double that one up with something else. I'll show that in a separate video though. Jump down when you are ready and we are now going to start heading towards the greenhouse. To do that, basically just head the way we came and then end up on the ground floor, go through the garden and towards the white greenhouse in the back. 
No need to panic. On top of everything, Rosie thinks she's in love with young Patrick. I mean, that's a breaking heart happening if I ever saw one. Awesome. Now, on your way to the greenhouse, you may notice that the family is taking the photo or has already completed that photo. This is important for the people we need to move to certain areas, move to those areas. I'm going to make my way to the greenhouse and I'm going to break in using the lock pick that I brought with me or with that crowbar that I picked up earlier. Once inside, I would recommend crouching, but from this location, you can find the boat key inside of the greenhouse. This will allow us to exit the level using the boat, which is another challenge. Then we'll make our way up to the distillation kit and we can repair it using the wrench that we picked up earlier. So make sure you repair it. You can also pull out your camera and look at the book. This will tell you that Emma is trying to kill Alexa. Make sure you leave the plants on the desk in this room as she will need them in order to craft the poison. We now want to head back into the mansion during the family meeting. And if we take a picture of Alexa during the meeting, we can unlock another challenge, which can sometimes be a little bit tricky. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. In my own time, Gregory. I'll wait till everybody is here. Once the family meeting starts, you should get a small little notice in the top left corner. And at this point, pull out your camera, zoom in and take a picture of Alexa Carlisle to grab another challenge for this mission. You'll have to wait for this family meeting to conclude. There's also a bell in this room. If you ring the bell, you can unlock yet another challenge. I'll be avoiding that as it just adds time to the playthrough, which I thought was a little bit unnecessary. Now what you want to do is just wait for the meeting to conclude and follow Emma towards the greenhouse. Emma is the one in the purple jacket and you'll notice her because she's the only one who's going to go towards the greenhouse. Make sure you don't get spotted by any guards on your way there who may see through your disguise. I need to focus on sorting everything out, so please do not disturb me with your petty concerns. You are all adults, and as part of the elite, you will eventually have to deal with difficult situations like this. It comes late for most of you, but this is a chance for you to show what you are made of. That will be all. What an exit. Both bags got style. Show what you're made of. <laughs> Edward. <laughs> this is your chance. Oh, God. I have to finish my eulogy. So now we're going to be following Emma to the greenhouse. We don't actually have to go there with her, but it's probably just easier to see and it's cooler. At the very bottom of the stairs, you'll notice there is a unicorn. You can break off the unicorn horn and then store it as an item. Doing this will unlock another challenge for us if you are going for that level 20 mastery, which you probably want to as it unlocks more spawning locations and items for us to use in subsequent playthroughs or even in different levels. Just keep following her. She'll take uh, about two or three minutes to get where she's going. And I will come back with commentary. You definitely want to stick to that commentary because there is a very, very important tip, which will make you fail if you don't follow it after this section. Zachary will need a funeral as well, a real one.
So now that Emma has almost made her way back to the greenhouse, it's probably a pretty good idea to pause your game and make a save just in case things go a little bit crazy. But once she is inside the greenhouse, she will go to her distillation kit, which we have since repaired. She will make a comment about it being repaired and she will use her flowers inside to craft a poison. This poison will then be used to kill Alexa. Now, what we have to do is we have to allow Emma to put the poison in Alexa's drink in the family room. Now, the important part here is that Alexa often beats Emma back to the room, which means she wouldn't have enough time to go through the animation and put the poison in the drink. And Alexa, as far as I could see, only drinks this drink one time. So at this point, it kind of depends on your personal timing and what you are comfortable with. For me, I went inside and I began to disrupt Alexa just a little bit in order to delay her entrance into the family room. If I didn't delay the entrance on this playthrough, she would have ended up getting there too early for Emma to poison the drink and therefore the opportunity would have been completely missed. The timing is pretty tight, but as long as you throw one or two coins to delay her, you should be more than good enough. As you'll see coming up, I threw one coin, she makes her guard go and check it. I threw another coin, she goes and tells her guard to check it again. It doesn't really seem like it's delaying her, but it is delaying her by a solid 20 to 30 seconds, which is about all we need. Also, before she goes back into the meeting room, she does go into this kind of pool hall library and you are free to take out your silver ballers and shoot the lamp down for an accident kill. This will give you another challenge, but that is up to you. You can always make a save, shoot down the chandelier to get the assassination and then just load your save back up. Here, I'm gonna go check on Emma and how her timing is doing to make sure that she's gonna have enough time before Alexa makes it into the room. Things look good. You can just stand right here and blend in. This will just allow you to kind of check on her. I'm gonna make a save here just in case to be safe, but you do not wanna be standing here and blending in as the assassination happens. Unfortunately, because you are the closest person to the drink when it happens, you will be blamed for it, which makes escaping very difficult. So as soon as Emma comes up and poisons the drink, as you can see her doing right now, you can basically just get ready to leave the level. You can feel free to go to the boat, the motorcycle or the bridge, and you can just wait for the kill to happen. I'm going to actually show you the kill happening on screen so that obviously you can get that video satisfaction. On my way out, I'll also show you where the hearse key is, so stay tuned for that. She will now come into the room, and once she comes into the room, she will take a sip from that drink after addressing the family, and she will fall and die. This is how you help Emma kill Alexa, and we are ready to exfiltrate. The achievement or trophy should unlock right as it happens, but because I've already done it, it won't show up on screen. You'll also get the challenge to show up in the top right corner. Now for my exit, I'm gonna show you how to exit via the hearse key, although I also showed you the boat key earlier. Exit out this side door, find the hearse key right here next to the bench, and we can now just enter and leave. You can also find a hearse key on the uh, grave guy in the cemetery. Nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. A special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show, and hopefully I see you soon. Peace.